Hey everyone, just a really quick one here because I'm already part way through doing this and I thought, well, maybe somebody out there could find this useful. It's working on a RB1, RB2 Odyssey here and getting the side view wing mirror off. So if you want to be able to take this mirror off, you can see that it's bolted to the door, not just the usual in the corner triangle there. So to take it off, you do have to take the door panel off, which to take the door panel off involves, you got to pry out the plastic piece behind here, take out two Phillips screws, then remove the rubber liner in here and take out that one Phillips screw there. And once you have that off, all you got to do is pry out along the bottom of the door panel, along the sides, and then you'll just pop out these little clips that hold it in the door once you pop it out. Uh, you got to remove this top cover piece as well, again, just clipped in. So once you have that and you have all the clips unlatched for the door panel, you just simply pull it off lift it upwards off of the track so it's going to be on the door like that you want to pull out from the bottom and then lift upwards and once that is off and you unplug your power window switch and take the light bulb out then you have your door panel off if you're just getting at your speaker there it is you're going to push down on top of here with a flathead screwdriver and that little gap or any screwdriver and it will just pop out of there it's only held in with that one clip no screws you want to get to the mirror though, and this pull back this vapor barrier here, and stick it up the corner here to the infamous Honda bubble gum. So try not to touch that because if you put enough pressure on it, it gets over everything. <laughs> this is the harness here for your mirrors. You unplug each of them, unplug this one and that one, and there's going to be three 10 millimeter nuts holding on the mirror. Thankfully though, they punched holes in the door skin so you don't have to go through there. All you're gonna need is an extension and a 10 millimeter socket. You can go through these holes to each of them and undo your nuts, which I've already taken out. And you, the something to notice though, is that this harness wraps, I don't know if you're gonna be able to get a good view of that. I'm trying to get a light in there. The harness wraps around the window track. So when you're putting the mirror back, you got to remember to wrap that harness around the back side of the track so that it doesn't just pinch it in the window. Oh, and you're going to want to have the window down for this, otherwise you're not going to be able to get at those nuts. The glass is going to be in the way. So once you have those off, the mirror just, just wiggle it out go and then pull it out with the harness and then once you have your harness pulled out around the window track there just fish it through the hole and there you go your wing mirror oh hello now if you want to replace just the glass piece itself you'll need to push the mirror so that it's facing all the way up because the glass piece uh, along with the plastic backing, hinges at the top and clips in at the bottom. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a short minute here. So the parts where it clips in at the bottom are that clip right there and that clip on that side. So you're going to want to get a pick or flathead screwdriver or a really slim panel tool like this one in here and lift those two clips up. And then once you do that, you want to push the actual uh, rotating mechanism, the white part, down so it's flat again then lift up the push it down like that so that it's flat and then lift up on the bottom of the glass and you see that it hinges in at the top there push it down some more and then pull down on the glass and it will come off like that so as you can see there that hooks in to those holes first and then those clip in at the bottom. And as you can see, these are the wires for your heating element for the heated mirror. If you bought an aftermarket replacement mirror here, it may not have them, so you can just snip them off or um, splice them on. They are spade connectors. I don't know how I'd feel about trying to pull those off, but I guess if this part of your mirror is already cracked, then you've got nothing to lose. But otherwise, then you can just uh, cut those off and insulate them if your replacement piece does not have a heater element.
I hope that is of help to somebody. Again, I already had this like half apart, and I'm like, well, maybe somebody could uh, utilize this procedure at some point and get a bit of help out of this. Well, thanks for watching. Take care.